Welcome back. My next guest is a poet, actor, writer, and producer who's performed all over New York City. In 2004, he created the Love Storm Entertainment Group, which hosts various progressive community arts and social justice events throughout the region. Please welcome Mo Beasley. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. Now, Mo, me. you're going to perform a piece called Boys Can't Cry for us right now. That's right. You a man. Pick yourself up and stop all that crying, said a young mother to her three-year-old son when he fell while playing in the park on Sunday. That boy's too soft. You got to let me uh, toughen him up or he'll wind up a sissy said my Uncle Reuben to my mom when I was just nine, long before me or my family realized I carry the soul of a poet. Because boys can't cry. You see, concrete ways and urban creeds forge unforgiving street corner steel, stifling spirits, strangling zeal. You see, my daddy mumbled, my granddaddy grumbled, and I still struggle to speak my peace because boys can't cry. Men dare not bear soul nor heart. Hold on to childhood pain like petrified stone, cementing heart, twisting bone. Pop, pop goes the pistol. Bang, bang goes the gun. Crack goes the dam on a Virginia Tech campus when the rounds of a man child's critical rage burst because boys can't cry. Call for a mother's hug, daddy's love. When boys can't cry, how can they answer vulnerable moments and harsh emotions with anything other than stick, stones, or battered homes? If boys can't and only girls can cry, where's the release? Catharsis, learned peace. If boys can't cry, the only answer to Twin Tower reigns and Saddam days are bombs and brigades. Peace can never be the means of hardened men, unaccustomed to olive branches and diplomatic ends. If boys can't cry, steel be tempered, stone tendered, 33 deaths will be an oft broken record and all our days are frighteningly numbered. Very, very powerful, very powerful piece. Thank that you. was your response to the 2007 Virginia Tech massacre. Yes. And the, the big issue, obviously, or the issue that you bring out is that boys and men, and even today, are, it's not ex socially acceptable for them to show their emotions, for them to cry. Was that true for you growing up? Yes, true for me growing up. I'm, I'm an artist. I've been an artist since I, since I, I mean, I was born an artist. But you don't know that when you're growing up. And I grew up in the uh, projects of Boston, Franklin Hill projects. So growing up in the hood, and when I was a kid, it was around the way. Growing up around the way, you couldn't be soft. You couldn't show emotion. You couldn't be a sensitive soul. And so it became hard growing up for a while. And then you learn how to protect yourself, and you have to do mm -hmm. hard things. But I never, I'm not a hard person. Um, and so you saw around you the mothers and the fathers, you know, telling boys, hey, Man don't up. cry. Yeah. yeah, boys can't cry. Shut up, boys. Stop all that crying. And um, unfortunately, again, if boys can't do that and girls can, you know, girls, we grow up off balance. And boys don't, boys don't learn a way to process their emotion. And, um, and we wind up running into men who can't articulate, process, even connect to, a, to their real, true emotions, feelings, and, be any, and they don't have any means to express them. Mm. And so, unfortunately, I think that may have had a lot to do with why some man would kill 33 people. Wow. He didn't know. What inspires you to write? What I read, I read more than I write, and I write all the time. But I've always just been a big reader. I love to read, um, and that's my thing, and it's my greatest hobby. So what I read feeds what I write, and then um, like any good artist, you're, <laughs> you're exorcising childhood <laughs> angels and demons. And so, so Those come into play, yeah, right? They, so work, they work for you now, right? right? Yeah, yes, exactly. exactly. <laughs> I put them to use. So like yeah. not, some of them don't leave, and right. so I put them to work. And so that's one of the things that inspires me, that um, directs what I write. And then what I see on the news, mm -hmm. and then I teach a lot in the city now. And so and I'm fortunate to teach around the city um, in different places. And my students feed me new inspiration. My students inspired Boys Can't Cry. Mm. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. They, they, were, they had some strong opinions about it. And I listened to them and what, uh -huh. how they felt about, uh -huh. about it. And that's what came out, you know, that Boys Can't Cry. Do you think about when you're writing who you're writing for? Or no, it just comes from your heart. It, it, you don't have an audience. I mean, or do you kind of think about who is this for? Oh, yeah. I, I, I have an audience 
for everything I write. Um, the general audience is the human community. Mm -hmm. I think every story is um, worth everyone hearing. Um, but specifically, sometimes I write for the folks I grew up around. I grew up in a place where um, opportunity, hope, was, was in small, small quantity. And so I write for those, for those folks, for the kids like me, who knew that there was more than, you know, welfare checks and red bricks and... Well, they have you as a role <coughs> model now. Do you go back often Oh, to yeah. I, I teach with, uh, I teach with, uh, I mentor a group of young boys in elementary school in Harlem, uh, PS149, the young ones. <laughs> <laughs> they want me to really rep the young ones. But I uh, work with them because, again, I see these boys with talent and that I had mm -hmm. someone see my talent and foster me, foster that talent, mentor me. And, and so, and they told me the only way, the only thing I have to do to repay them is when I'm in a position to foster another young person's talent, that I have to do it. Mm. Pay so, it forward, right? Pay, yeah, pay, pay it forward, forward. Yeah. exactly. And what are, the, what are they writing? Oh, what kinds of things? <laughs> they're writing, oh, the, um, they wrote a great piece called um, Night Night Katrina. And so they wrote a piece for the Katrina victims mm, here in nice. New York. Um, I have a poem called Nine Shots, which challenges thug life and gangster, gangster hip hop. And the young boys wrote their own version of my poem, Nine mm -hmm. Shots which was one of the greatest moments in my life as an artist, to have some young people come in and say, Mr. Mo, we wrote some, you know, we, if it's cool with you, can we, uh, can we do this, <laughs> this piece? And, you know, I had to, after, <laughs> this boy cried. When, yeah, I was going to say. When, when I, <laughs> I think you when cried, I, yeah, right? <laughs> when that happened, so um, it's, a, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. What makes a good poet? Because I'm, I'm sure the kids want to know that, too. They ask you, you know, I don't feel I'm good enough for it. I mean, what, what do you tell them? What makes a good poet? Uh, honest, honest spirit, um, talent, um, dedication, persistence to the craft. And that means learning mm -hmm. it. There's some mm -hmm. people, a lot of us are really talented with what we write and how we say it, um, and that's not enough. What makes a great poet is someone who loves the craft and loves it enough to stay immersed in it and stay a baby to it, a student to it. The people that I look up to, the Luis Reyes Rivera's, the Sonia Sanchez's, they're still students, and they've been doing it for decades. And so you stay a baby to it. So you remain a student. That's yes. the goal. Remain a student. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming in and sharing your lovely poem. Thank you for you're having me. Very powerful. Me. Very, very powerful. Thank you. And you're such an inspiration to so many people. Continue the Charlie. good work you're doing. You too. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you for the space. Thank you so much. Now, our viewers will be able to find out more about you and your work, your poetry, and on your website by going through our website. There will be a link, I believe. Great. At yes.